Hello. In this video, we will see how to write a function file and execute it. Okay. So let us make a new function file. Click here. So the first line of the function file is the function declaration, and we have to use the keyword function. Okay. This is a must. You have to use this keyword function. Then you have to write this square brackets okay we will uh, de define here the output variables which the, our function will return after ex execution okay so now equal to here we have to write function name okay so let me give a function name as some say arithmetic and we can also give some number okay say arithmetic 1 and in the parenthesis we have to give the input variables okay so when we will run this function we have to specify the values of this input variables say a and b okay now what i want to do within this function is i want to calculate the uh, sum difference multiplication and division of these two numbers a and b and i want to uh, return those values by this function say sum then difference then multiplication and then say division okay so these four are my output variables okay so say we'll We'll write the uh, commands here, okay? What we want to do in this function, say sum, so simply a plus b, then second variable is difference, so difference equal to a minus b, then multiplication equal to a into b, then division equal to a over b, okay? Then we have to use this end command. Okay, so you have to always end the function. Okay, so what this will do is uh, this will calculate the sum, difference, multiplication, and division of the two numbers given by the user at the runtime. Okay, now before running, we have to save this function and we have to keep in mind, uh, mind few things about. How to save this function and how to call it okay so first thing the function file must be uh, save with this name itself what what is the uh, function name arithmetic one so you have to save this function this name itself okay so let us save this so uh, this will give by default that name and you don't have to change it okay you can select a folder whether you want to save this file okay so let me save this in this new folder okay save it okay now uh, you can't run a function file just by clicking this run button as we run a script file okay there's a difference a function file uh, to run a function file we have to call it by this name with giving proper input so let us go to the command window at command window we have to write this function name input variable and also the output variable so say some difference multiplication and division okay now uh, this is not necessary to give these names as given in function definition okay we can use some capital a capital b capital c capital d or anything else okay the point is this number of variable must be same as given here then function name say arithmetic one and then you have to pass the values of a and b say uh, i give three and five so a equal to three and b equal to five and just enter 
now there is a mistake yeah, there is an error written by MATLAB and what it is saying is that undefined function arithmetic for input argument of type double this is due to because the function which we are calling here this function must be in the current directory okay but this function is not in the current directory so we have to change that okay now I have saved that in this new folder so I can double click here or to do that automatically you just click here run button and MATLAB will ask you to change the folder or add to path so you can choose any option so let me change the folder okay now our function is in current directory okay so now let me recall that function again so here is the answer so you can check that the sum is 8 3 plus 5 8 then difference 3 minus 5 minus 2 then multiplication 3 into 5 is 3 into 5 is 15 then division 3 by 5 is 0. 0.6 okay so this is the way how to declare a function and how to execute it okay so we stop here